Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today, I'm gonna show you guys my room. So if you don't know me, like I said, my name is Sabine and 9 out of the 10 times I make videos about books. But where I spend a lot of my time is in my room and in these four and a half years that I've been on YouTube, I've never shown you guys my room. I also have a dorm in Utrecht, the city where I study, so I could also do a dorm tour if you guys are interested in that. Let me know in the comments down below. So before I'm gonna show you guys where I do it all here on YouTube, I just wanted to let you guys know that you guys can follow me on all of my different social media pages so because I'm a booktuber of course I have Goodreads but I also have Snapchat, Instagram plus an email address. Links to those are in the description bar down below and then you guys can stay up to date with what I'm currently doing in my life besides reading, going to school, stuff like that. <laughs> so let's start with the room tour. If you guys have any questions about where I got certain furniture from let me know in the comments down below. Let's start with what I'm looking at right now. So the window where I have a couple of plans because I'm trying to get some like green fingers. Is that how you say it? I'm trying to learn how to take care of plants because I'm the type of person who can let a cactus die. So just so you know. <laughs> this is the view that I have from my room today. It's a really nice and rainy day because when is it not raining in the Netherlands? These are the plants that I've been trying to take care of since a couple of months. So this one, as you can see, the leaves are hanging a little bit low, but I don't know, it has been growing a lot. Plus, this is a flower. I don't know which one exactly, but I grew this myself. There is a second one growing right here. Then here we have the mirror. It's quite a big one and I really like it. I got it from Ikea this summer. But over here, I have a cup that I got in my fairy loot box. I have a little plant that I'm also trying to grow. Right now, it's looking really cute and tiny, but there are little leaves growing out of it. So I don't know when it's gonna fully grow and blossom. I just got this plant yesterday. Oh my god. So this is a pickle plant, but I didn't see that there are like tiny flowers growing out of it as well. Oh my god, look at this one. It's so tiny and cute. But this is a really soft plant. Like you can touch the hairs. Here I have a cactus. This one didn't die fortunately. And then I don't know what kind of plant this is, but you only have to give it water like <laughs> every other week or two weeks. Then on to my desk. This is the place where I spend a lot of my time because I do editing on my computer. I watch videos. I watch Netflix, I do my schoolwork, so whatever. This is a desk from Ikea. I've had this one for a very long time and it's a really nice spacious area. I don't know what this thing is called, but I just got this kind of like storage place this summer because it looks very clean and neat. I have another tiny plant over here and this is the case for my camera. Over here, I always put like school stuff. So this is what I have right now for biomedical sciences and my minor. Plus I also have my journal over here. Okay, lots of decorations. First of all, I've gotten this cork flag in my fairy loot and I've decided to put all of my different pins on it. Most of them are Harry Potter related and I also have a keychain which I got in Florida. And I thought that this was just a really neat way to display my kind of like pins. Onto this shelf, which I used to use as a bookshelf, but I cannot do that anymore right now. I have three Game of Thrones Funkos, and I love them. I love Daenerys. She was one of my favorite characters in Game of Thrones, as well as Jon Snow, of course, in his infamous scene with Ramsay Bolton. And I have two prints in the back. I just put this um, print here last summer, and I really loved how it looked, like, so cute with the plants. I also got this print, which I've gotten from Etsy a couple of years ago. I have another plant, which is <laughs> still alive plus a little metal miniature of the big band in London where I have a couple of photos with my friends a couple of magnets and here of course my laptop some stationery some uh, brushes which I use for the painting and the journaling and when you look to the left I have my first bookshelf standing over here if you guys want me to do a bookshelf tour please let me know in the comments down below I also have a shelf in between here with all of my candles and on my shelf I have lots of Funkos and action figures then here I have have my bed. This is a custom made bed, so you cannot really get this anywhere. It is also really quite high. Let's show you guys from a different perspective, like how high this bed is. Okay, so this is my bed, and if I sit, that's how high it is. I 
don't know really why exactly I chose for that, but I just really like the idea of it. No surprise at all, but this is where I sleep. Wow, mind is blown. I also have a little piece of artwork over here that I created. I will show you guys a little bit more up close. So I created this painting of Hogwarts a couple of years ago. I just thought it looked really cute and this is like a very white area. So I thought that I would kind of lighten it up a little bit with that painting and I love that it's like the silhouette of Hogwarts and of course I love Harry Potter mm, has a special place in my heart and over here I have my second bookshelf when this bookshelf was full I got a second bookshelf and I do not have a lot of space in my room so I decided to get one that could stand next to my bed that is a little lower again if you want a bookshelf tour let me know so again trying to uh, color coordinate this in some kind of way with my favorite shelf of all all my Harry Potter shelves. Again, lots of Funkos, but all of them are Harry Potter related. Okay, another angle, because I have a third bookshelf since this summer, um, but this is my relaxing space. I always sit here and read, and I have my blankets. I have two blankets right now, because a brand contacted me and asked me if I wanted to get one of their blankets. So this is my new blanket. It is from Emposia and they are a new company who wants to create like bookish blankets. What I really like about this blanket is that it has a, how do you say that? Like you can put this on your head. I will show you guys what it looks like. This is the design on the blanket. They have multiple designs, but I chose the one that has a deer on it because it kind of made me feel like the Patronus in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban and I really liked those vibes. But this is just a really nice and chill blanket, exactly what you need during the more like fall winter time. So okay, you could put it on your head and you kind of look like you are wearing a Harry Potter cape. Here you have a string that you can attach to a button and then you are actually like wearing the blanket and you can walk around with it and it won't fall off so you're constantly super cozy and warm <laughs> i'm struggling to get it on okay no it's done this is what it looks like it has a very soft outside and also a very soft and warm inside you can just uh sit right here in your chilling chair thank you so much to emposia for sending me this blanket i have some really fun news for you guys emposia is hosting a giveaway because they are a new company who is just releasing their bookish blankets so if you guys want to enter the giveaway i will leave instructions on how to do that in the description bar down below so please go check that out now i'm ready for the winter times and i can just stay warm because i get cold really easily let's put the blanket over here <laughs> not very neatly but whatever here we have my third bookshelf which i have gotten this past summer as well over here i have my little jewelry trinket thing i don't know what it's called but i keep my like earrings on there i have another little bonsai tree but this one I don't know why, do you guys have any tips on how to take care of a bonsai tree? Because it has lost so many of its leaves and I just don't know if I have to keep it in a very sunny space or like how much water I'm supposed to give it. So if you guys have any tips, leave them in the comments down below. Over here I have a little string of lights. I never really use them as lights. I just really like the way that they are so like colorful and they bring a little bit more happiness to this space. I have some art prints that I have collected over the past years. They are inspired by multiple fandoms. Well, not really multiple, to be honest. I have seven posters, seven prints, and six of them are inspired by Harry Potter. This one right here I got from Etsy, and I love this quote. It is from A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab, and I just love the art prints so incredibly much. Then this one is my second favorite because it is so colorful, and it is a very underappreciated quote by Ginny Weasley. Anything's possible if you've got enough nerve. Oh, this one is also one of my faves. <laughs> I actually really like them all, but one of my best friends made this for my birthday. I just love this quote because it's so true. Plus, it's by my favorite character, Elpis Dumbledore. And then here... I have some other prints as well, just inspired in general by Harry Potter or also by Fantastic Beasts. If we go from that area to my door, you can see all of these different pictures on my door. I have friends in them, I have family in them, I have vacation spots that I went to, plus I also have this mirror hanging here, which has been on my door since I was six, because when I was six, I could um, stand 
like this and just see myself, but now I've grown and I cannot do, do that anymore. And then here we have my closet, which is always just like really, really busy with all of my bags that I have hanging here. But yeah, guys, that was basically my room tour. I really love my room. I think the blue makes it really happy and blue is my favorite color. And because I'm trying to keep more plants, it also looks a little bit more alive i don't know <laughs> so let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions about anything that is in my room i'm happy to answer them if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below thank you so much for watching and i hope that i will see you guys in the next one bye